Hello YouTube! I am the B Parks. And like anyone that is probably watching this video, I play a lot of Destiny. I played probably way too much Destiny. Let's go take a look at hours played real quick. Go to a friend. View gamer card. And oh my god! 788 hours! That translates to roughly 33 days. 33 days of my life. Holy crap. Like many Destiny players, I have a significant problem with hoarding weapons. Not only weapons, but hoarding armor, and pretty much anything else in the game. Because you never know when you might need it. I am especially bad with this and hand cannons. I just can't seem to get rid of them. Especially in the House of Wolves, I have acquired pretty much every hand cannon that you can get. So, I decided to kill a couple birds with one stone. I'm going to, one, clean out my vault a little bit, free up some space, as well as figure out what hand cannon I'm best with. And, dare I say, what is the best hand cannon from the House of Wolves? Legendary hand cannon, that is. So, I decided to have a win or get dismantled tournament. The losers all are gone, and the winner gets a nice shiny spot in my vault and a nice bit of etheric light to make it 365. Let's take a look at our competitors. We've got Tamur's Lash. I'm not proud of how I got this. We got the Red Hand from the New Monarchy Vendor, or you could possibly get it from the Nightfall or Legendary Engram. You got Six Dreg Pride, which is bought from Old Varix and the Prison of Elders. Next we got Up the Ante, which can be bought from the Crucible Vendor or drop off Legendary Engram as well. Next, Ill Will, a fan favorite. I even got a pretty decent roll on it. This can be dropped from playing Crucible matches. Next is Her Mercy, which can be gotten in the Prison of Elders out of the large chest after you have beaten it. Next is the Fulcrum from the future War Cult. Then another drop in the Crucible, the, Revel the Revelator. Mouthful there. And last but not least, a prize from the Trials of Osiris, the Jewel of Osiris, Adept. I don't have a regular version, but I do have one from completing the Trials 9 and 0, and I'm going to put it on the line because I need space. So, here's how the tournament is going to go. We're going to have one-on-one -on -one battles with each weapon, the loser gets dismantled. To figure out a winner, we are going to go into a rumble match. First with one gun, and then another match with a second gun. The gun with the most kills gets to stay in the tournament, and the loser gets dismantled. If by any chance there is a tie in kills, then we will go to assists. If there's a tie in assists and kills, then we are going to go to least deaths. If there's an all-around tie, we'll just have to go again. Here is how I have the tournament set up for now. First round, Ill Will versus Up the Annie. As well as we have Her Mercy against bum 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 Jewel of Osiris Adept. Since there was not quite enough guns, I had to give a few a uh, a free win and the receivers of this are Tamer's Lash because it was a pain in the ass to get and a weapon that I don't quite have yet being the Loner Dot Rebel it is a hand cannon that can be dropped in the strike playlist I believe it's the dragon playlist I have tried to obtain it for this tournament so it can have a fair representative, but as many people know, trying to obtain weapons through Strike Playlist is also a pain in the ass. Probably more in a pain in the ass than trying to sit through and get to level 5 of the Iron Banner. 
which is absolute hell. So I'm going to leave a spot on there, and in between these videos, I will try to obtain one. But if I don't, then it automatically loses. Oh well. In the next round, we will have the winner of the Up the Annie, Ill Will, will take on Tamir's Lash. And the winner of Her Mercy and Jewel of Osiris will take on the Loner Rebel if I somehow acquire it. If I don't acquire it by then, it loses. Also, we have in that round the Red Hand versus the Fulcrum. Next, we will have a pretty obvious loser in this battle because it's not fit for PvP. The Six Drag Pride versus the Revelator. And from then, we will see the winners, and we will continue with the tournament. So, stay tuned for the bloodbath of the hand cannons, and we will learn once and for all what is the best House of Wolves hand cannon.